I want to show you how to set up an external secret linked to a vault deployed in your own OpenShift local environment. This helps with your applications to keep your secrets secure. For example, if you have a MongoDB database and you want to configure the passwords in your environment, but not put those secrets in your code in GitHub, in your repository, you can do that by setting up an external secret with the external secrets operator linked to your vault. Let's show you how that's done. We've been preparing for a hackathon at Red Hat Consulting that uses a Fiber context broker and a Fiber context broker uses a MongoDB database. So let me show you what I'm talking about in github.com slash rh-impact. We have a project and here's our hackathon project and there's tasks to deploy a Fiber context broker and there's instructions on creating an Orion LD context broker. And I've shown you this before, and there's lots of customized components that you can upload into your environment. Let me show you some of these here. If I pull up the Fiware Marinara project that we're referencing here and go to customize, bundles, Fiware, base, you'll see that we're setting up two things. We're setting up a namespace for Fiware right here, and we're setting up an external secret called mongodb-secret. Now, what does this look like? You can see the object here. That's its name. It's going to go into the Fiware namespace, and it references a secret store that we created earlier in earlier videos in our vault and inside of the vault, it pulls data from Fiware slash MongoDB secret. Now we can take a look at that again for a review. Let's make, you want to make sure that your OpenShift local environment is running. So I type CRC space start and it's running here. I'll go to this URL. And I'm already logged in. I'll go to networking routes. Go to the vault namespace and pull up our vault here. Now you need to sign in. I got to open my password safe for that to grab my group token. Now I'm signed in and you can see Fiware MongoDB secret. And this is where I've configured the passwords to use for MongoDB. So let's create this. First, I will copy the login command so that I can access OpenShift in a terminal. Great. And then all I need to do is apply these customized components. OC apply dash K for customize. Let me go into the Fireware Marinara repo first. CD home slash dot local SRC Fireware Marinara. And then OC apply dash K customize bundles fireware base. This will create 
the namespace for FireWire and the external secret. Now let's go look at this external secret. Search for external secret. Go to the FireWire namespace. And there it is. Now what does it say? Secret was synced. So what does that do? If you take a look again at the external secret config, it will say to create a target secret named MongoDB secret. If we pull up Workloads, Secrets. You can see sure enough here that we have a MongoDB secret. And the values for these came straight out of the vault. They didn't come from our code. So those are the same values we had in the vault. Pretty cool, huh? So this is how you keep your private secret secret by configuring in your vault what the secrets are and then referencing them from an external secret. And that way we never deploy our, <laughs> we never commit our secrets to our code. So I hope that was helpful. We're going to continue to deploy our Fireware Context Broker and much more and integrate all kinds of cool IoT device related things in future videos, so stay tuned, and thanks for watching.